actually going to show you Northwood saw jet using the KMT intensifier water jet components. Watch this, it's pretty, pretty simple. We're going to open up the file. And as soon as it's done doing the saw cuts, the water jet will come in and do the parts that the water jet do the best, and that's doing corners, radiuses, scribed walls, and the like. You gotta love it. This is a stone worker's dream. So now he's gonna go ahead and hit the float tank button, scan in the barcode, bring the program up, and now he's gonna raise the tank. Now you can see the water come up. This is done with a ballast underneath the tank. And the part gets submerged and the cutting procedure begins. So one of the things that, that made our shop consider SawJet technology was the absolute insane efficiency you get from this technology. It combines a, 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 a saw blade with a water jet nozzle to do the work. And in, the, in this industry, the most effective and fast way to cut natural stone is with a saw blade. The beautiful thing about a water jet is it allows us to do the radius works, the sinks, the hole cutting, all the detail work that normally would be have, to done, have to be done by hand with grinder or be done on the, on the CNC using milling. It's done in this process. As you saw when I wrote that program, it took us six, it's going to take us about 16 minutes to cut up this entire slab. That's bullet fast. It would take us three times that long on a conventional bridge saw or water jet. Now you can hear the intensifier ramping up the pressure. It's made its first cut and it's going to start clearing all the corners on these, these components. As you can see, when you combine the saw with the water jet, the amount of water jet work that actually needs to be done is very minimal. This keeps your garnet consumption down, it keeps wear and tear on your intensifier down, and it keeps maintenance down to a very low level. In eight hours of cutting, we might do 25, 30 minutes of water jet work a day. And now you, now you can see these parts being separated by the water jet. I cannot imagine fabricating stone without a saw jet in my shop. Perfect parts. We've done signage with our water jet. We've, we've cut out logos for companies. We do mosaic inlays. Um, another nice thing about having water jet technology allows you to scribe walls. We don't have weird conversations with our customers about, you know, why, why is the granite a quarter inch away from the wall, things like that. If the wall's curved, we, we make the granite follow the curve of the wall. I can't think of a better combination of technologies using a saw in concert with a water jet when it comes to the stone trade. It's so efficient, so fast, and it produces perfect parts. Whether it's radius works, undermount sinks, coring holes, drilling micro small holes like quarter inch holes. We don't drill them with a drill, we punch them with our water jet. Now you can see where it's gonna go back along the backside and scribe this wall. In this shot right here, you can actually see where the saw has come down and plunged in a series of straight lines. The water jet's now going to come in and clean up all that and connect the dots. And that's where you can actually see the bow that's in these people's wall of their house. Another nice advantage, if you look right here, the saw knows exactly how far to go without hitting the other adjacent piece. Now the water jet's going to come in and it's going to punch just as much as necessary to remove the curve from the blade. If you want to talk to some folks about water jet technology and actually ask some questions, I run a website called www.stoneadvice.com, or if you're ever out in Oregon and Hubbard, give my shop a call. We're Stoneworks of Oregon, and or track me down on Stone Advice or shoot me an email, and you're more than welcome to come out to my shop, run this equipment, learn how we use our KMT water jet to build perfect kitchens, and just come on by or give me a call or visit us at Stone Advice.